have in front of me an A-channel uh, MDR. It comes uh, as a kit uh, by default with four 2 megapixel 1080p uh, IP bullet cameras. Um, so it's a complete kit, everything you need. Um, it's on special offer because we have it uh, as an end of line uh, clearance sale that we've managed to buy in the UK. Picture quality and it's great and the setup on it's extremely easy both in terms of the, the, the cameras themselves, you have everything you need and also the app. It takes about three or four minutes to set up the app to have it viewing on your uh, smartphone. So um, we video separately for the app thing. So I'm just going to cover what covers in the kit and what the options are. So this is the box you get initially. So it's a special box. It comes with uh, the NVR itself and a separate box that has ca cameras and cables. Depending on how many cameras you go, there'll be additional camera um, and cables with it, okay? By default, we've gone with four um, bullet cameras uh, in the kit. So uh, what you have there is their PoE cameras, and I'll show you how important that is in a few moments' time. Actually, what I might do immediately is I'll just get the camera here. I'm just going to use the cable here, the LAN connection. I'm going to plug it into the PoE output on the back. This is a little network port here. I'll push it in. There's eight of them side by side. And I'm going to push this directly into this new camera that we've added here. And hopefully, as the video goes along, this will actually come and pick it up automatically by itself. But if it doesn't, I can just show you some way of, of slightly forcing it. So I'm going to cover the, the topic of how to add cameras on later. Very key that you listen to it if you want a, a no problem installed. So you have four cameras by default uh, and four leads here. So if you want to add on additional cameras, we have an option to add on two additional cameras and just a very a set fee for that. And that's a, just a, a bullet uh, thing on the, an, an option on the thing. Uh, by default, it has no uh, hard drive. If you want one terabyte hard drive, you just take it and add it on. And finally, if you decide you want to go with uh, dome cameras instead of bullet cameras, uh, what will happen here is it will um, come along like this. So we're quite lucky there that additional camera picked up quite quickly. Uh, sometimes it can take a minute, two minutes for it to pick up. I'll just go in here. I'm going to see it here. And I think it's this one. And I can just hold it over my shoulder maybe. And you can just see it can focus there. I'm not very coordinated backwards here, but anyway, that's it. It's just giving me some idea of what to do here. So I'll just go back out to the... I'll, I'll just leave it on that view for now anyway. So the power unit that comes on this particular unit here is totally over -spec'd. And The reason it is, it's powering the NVR. It can power the power drive that's inside, and it's also powering the four PoE ports here. So it just means that in each of these cameras, you have the option of powering the camera locally, but you don't need to because the NVR is capable of doing it. Um, and it works extremely well, but you should use the cables that we give you. Don't try to use low quality other cables because this is CAT6 cable and it's also with extremely high copper content on it. So it just works really well. We tried it on lots of other cables and it did not work well, even over short runs. So use the quality cable that comes with the overall kit. Um, there's no real need to go through the different uh, function menus on it because it's just automatic. You just need to plug in the cameras, run the Mac, and get this thing up and running. So one thing I'm going to cover very, very quickly at this point in time is to say that when you go to connect this in, what you'll have here is you have a VGA connection if you want to connect to a monitor or a HDMI lead, and it comes with a mouse as well. And just to demonstrate the mouse connection here, what I'll just do here is I'll just go down to the night camera view again, and I'll just go in here to guide, and I'll just go on next page. This is a, a screen you would have seen when you, if you were setting up the app uh, that's in a separate video. Um, I'll just go to the next page and what we want to do here is you can do a network test here where I can actually ping and just make sure everything is online. This just has a, an Ethernet cable connecting directly off a local router. So if you just um, cancel out of that, um, cancel there, whoops, um, guide, uh, next page, uh, next page. Um, and now what we have is next page here again. And what we have here is we have uh, auto search there. So it means that the NVR is constantly looking for new cameras. So just say auto search wasn't ticked on there, it is by default, but if it wasn't, you go in there, you can tick it, and it'll actually go and actively look for new IP cameras on the thing. So if you ever had a situation where you'd, you'd waited a couple of minutes, hadn't picked up the new camera, you need to do it. Now this is a key, key point you need to take away from what I'm saying to you here is, when you get this kit, the one thing you must not do is do not plug in all four cameras at the one time. How IP cameras work are not the same as how we'll say a CDI camera with a DVR is. We just run leads in and sees the cameras, that's it. It's looking at each camera, it's looking at its IP address and it's allocating that IP address and it's going to communicate it to it afterwards through the IP address. If uh, it needs a little bit of time to do that, okay, so plug in a camera, wait a minute or two, camera picks up, 
then plug in the next one and just go through the process as you work through. If you plug them all in at one time, the NVR can get confused. It might work, but it may not. And at that stage, you need to come back to technical support. Well, if you just follow the steps of be a little bit patient, one camera, few minutes, next camera, works, next camera, you will be able to do it completely using the videos here on it. If you look around at the other uh, kits that we have on the system, no kit we're selling comes close to this in terms of price. And the picture quality on this is really superb. A like two megapixel here is as good as a high definition channel that you might have in your Sky HD box. And it's really good. It's, there's no comparison between these and the IP or two megapixel cameras that are CBI or hybrid, something like that. IP is always much better quality. So that's it anyway, an overview of the A channel NVR with four, um, uh, two megapixel bullet by default or dome cameras available directly from freetv.ie.